So I did a great big haul. Now we're going to have a small one. But I don't know what this is. But it is from the Netherlands. And it says vintage. When I look at the back of it, it is used vintage Lego bricks. So, yeah, from the Netherlands. So let me try to open this up without destroying the content. Have you ever done that? Have you ever ripped open a package and you destroyed the contents? We got a note. Oh, it's Nico from the Netherlands. Nico Puma. He's oh. He says, Hi Jabbo. I know you didn't mind it, but uh, I if I list a set as hundred percent complete and I sent some wrong bricks, even if the ones sent were more rare, I see as my obligation to correct the error and you shouldn't need to use parts from your own collection. Here are oh Nico, you didn't have to do this. Here's some parts, um, replacement parts, and some extra for the set 252 you got from me. And since you like the cellulose acetate part that much, I sent some extra as those of those as well. Kind regards, Nico Burma from the Netherlands. So, oh yeah, hold on a minute. So this is really what you call go going way above and beyond this excellent customer service. I'll, this uh, locomotive here, <laughs> this is the set, set 252. Um, I, I may have already changed the pieces out. i I got to open it up now. So I've already taken it back apart. I'm going to dump it all out here. I think I changed them. So there were some older bricks than the vintage, so which is actually pretty cool to me. Yeah, I think I already changed some of those out. Um, the cellulose acetate versus uh, the regular ABS. I, I don't even remember what parts it was. Was it the one by twos? I think it was the one by twos. Yeah, which I've already changed out. So the one by twos, there, there, there were some that I think were the more modern vintage. So he has sent me. Oh, he sent me like eight of them. So these are the, they even sound like the correct vintage. That's not modern Lego. <laughs> nice. That one's no cross supports. Uh, so that's correct. Very nice. So thank you for that. I'm going to set these over there. And then he also sent these, which are the, all right. So this will give you an example of what was in it. Like I said, already, uh oh these are cellulose acetate right here, and, it's, and the logo is actually different. Let's see if I can show you this. See that? How different it is? Which, now that's even better. That I He sent me some extras. So look, no, no tube on the bottom. That's another thing. So that when the... I think it was Godfrey who came up with the tube idea that gave you more clutch power when assembling uh, your Lego bricks. So, oh great, now I forgot which one I took out of the set. That's, oh, that's warped. That's typical. That's This is why I love cellulose acetate because it's um, it does not hold its shape. No matter, it, it, even if you found a mint in sealed box from this era, uh, those pieces will probably be warped. Uh, it's just uh, the plastic that they use. So this is awesome. The uh, unexpected su surprise. Thank you, Nico. So now my locomotive <laughs> will still be complete. But uh, now we got the the parts that I replaced from my own collection. I can go back and 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 put up. So um, awesome. I'm putting everything back up. So that's the set I got from them. I'm keeping, as I go through and do the videos on these vintage sets like this, I've been putting them back in the box or back in a plastic bag if I didn't have the box because I'm trying to keep them organized because I'd like to do another video in the future, like if I have all of them or something like that. But yeah, that was a, a nice little surprise from Nico in the Netherlands who I bought this set from. And there's the cellulose acetate. 
if you if if you know one thing about me, <laughs> so I love vintage Lego, and I've probably said cellulose acetate as much as anybody on the internet. Even though I don't know much about plastics, I just know I can always spot these um, in a set. They're so easy for me to spot compared to other bricks. And maybe I can get as good at uh, distinguishing these bricks from the modern ones. So they do have a different sound. Uh, anyway, thank you again. And um, yeah, nice little surprise in the mail from Nico Netherlands Bricks in the Netherlands. <laughs> That's his store, Netherlands Bricks. So, uh, yeah. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next video. That is still a lame set, though. Not not Nico's problem. That's just a badly designed set. But I love it.